I got a little, uh, you know, bruised up, banged Ooh. up. I'm incredibly hungover right now. <laughs> and uh, that plane left Dallas a lot later than I thought it was going to this morning. You know, there was different mm -hmm. plans, and then obviously things happened. Sure. Last night was a dream come true. Last night I had the time of my life. Last night um, I should have been undefeated at WrestleMania, and then I got, you know, well, that set match, up. Yeah, that that unofficial. Really I got bamboozled. Mm -hmm. Big time. I, I, that was, there's no way that was a sanctioned match. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That one didn't. So no. I'm still undefeated at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No one Unde said it was. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Undefeated at WrestleMania. And then also, um, you know, had 10. What? Nine, what? 11. What? 15. What? Nine, 20, what? 25, what? maybe 30 beers left. <laughs> yeah. So uh, absolutely thankful for everybody and everything. Austin Theory, you know, he, he's a good kid. He's on his way. I was very fortunate to be in there. And there was some cool stuff that took place at WrestleMania. And shout out to everybody on the internet that gave me a lot of love last night. I can't thank you enough. I was trying to go through it on the plane, but it was... I was getting a little dizzy because of the amount <laughs> yeah, of, sure. I mean, there were there skies. Are a, lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of tweets. Too. Yeah, there, well, everybody was so fucking nice. And then I had 152 text messages as well. <laughs> I will try to get back to everybody. I promise that. Uh, but thank you all so much. Last night was a fucking dream, and you all are the best. With that being said, the Toxic Table is here. At Ty Schmidt. At Boston Connor. How's the gobble ghoul, cuz? Uh, right there on the shirt. On the top rope over there when you did that. Uh, I think it was, what, right before, right before you it. did the swanton? Mm -hmm. You gave one of these? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was hilarious. There's so many good moments in that match. I mean, I shit. Gave, gave a couple of Roethlisberger's. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, couple of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. That, that was sweet. Yeah. yeah. You know, and um, like, you don't, like, what am I supposed to do here? You know, I started thinking that yeah. when I walked out for that entrance. <laughs> And I was standing there, fucking Cowboys cheerleaders were out there. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that was happening. That's awesome. <laughs> so then I go out, and I'm like, by the way, thank you, Jack White, man. Yeah. Shout out. <clears throat> Shout out to the White Stripes, kind of letting that one play. You know, I guess that's not an easy task. For, so shout out to the WWE also making that happen. But I walked out there. As soon as I walked out there, I like looked around. I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> What? Because in your mind, I've done that, right? Like in my mind, I've done sure. my wrestling entrance in my head. I've come through the curtain in my head. Like literally, I said it yesterday, probably 10 million times. There was a time in my life where every time I walked through a door, I acted as if I was walking into an arena full of people or whatever. So you think about this entire moment forever and ever. And then as you're walking out there, it's like. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do with my hands? You know, like, yeah. I, I, I didn't think enough. Yeah. I, I don't think I thought enough about all this whenever I was arbitrarily doing. Yeah, that was sweet, man. That was so fucking cool. It was cool. unreal. Tell you what, the uh, sparkle, too, was nice touch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Miss Terry, I appreciate the hell out of you. She was one that did all of Undertaker's stuff. And uh, I've literally met her day one because she has an entire, like, I don't know what it's called. Called wardrobe collection it's like a it's like an open up and it's like <clears throat> a closet but it's like in a, it's like a mobile closet right? yeah, yeah mm. but it's like big one yeah. mm -hmm. it's like a big one it's on wheels and I, I walked she was in uh it was in the thunderdome i walked in and she had like five or six of the undertakers row and then like uh nature uh rick flair stuff was in there and all this stuff I'm like, damn, like this is a hell of a collection. And she's like, just some of the stuff, you know, I've done. She's been there for like 20, 30 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like I started like, hey, fucking okay, look at you. And like the first time I fist bumped her, she fucking tried to break my hand. <laughs> so this lady hit my hand. I'm like, damn. I'm like, all right, nice to meet you or whatever. So then the next week, our conversation, I'm like, hi, Miss Terry. Very nice to uh, see you. Hope all is well. Fist bump again. Oh, she's throwing like a heavy right. I'm like, oh, she works like stiff. Like, this is insane what's going on. So our relationship built because her trying to bust my hands every single time she gave me a fist bump. And we always chatted about how talented she is, like in her work and everything she's done. Like the 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 seamstress crew, the uh, costume mm -hmm. making design. I don't mm -hmm. even fucking know what it is. Yeah. I, I think I had one of those classes in college. I have no idea what that department of humans is. The things they create have been a part of WWE for so long. And they're all such incredibly cool people and hardworking people. So, like, me and Miss Terry have always talked, like, about all the cool stuff she made. I'm like, hey, maybe one day, you know, like, uh -huh. 
maybe one day I'll get my shit made by you. And she's like, oh, I would love that or whatever. So then WrestleMania weekend, I had not thought about what I'm wearing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had not thought about what I was wearing at all. I'm just going to walk out there in black pants and a goddamn tank top. Like, what are we even, <laughs> what are we even talking about? And then I started looking around at everybody else. Like, when I got there, when I arrived on Saturday, Logan Paul was in one of the coolest, so yeah. sweet, yeah. coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And I, like, thought to myself, like... Man, I'm putting on a goddamn tank top and black pants. And I saw somebody else had like a full, like almost a parade float around them. And they're like, yeah, it's WrestleMania. I'm like, it is. So I walk into Mysterio. I'm like, hey, I need, I need to wrestlemania fi <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, I got you. And she glued that shit on every, like by hand. Damn. Yeah, like day up, like almost damn near 24 hours beforehand. And we had a pretty cool moment. Like, hey, I appreciate you or whatever. So like WrestleMania, not just like, the match, which was awesome, getting stunned, hilarious, yeah. so funny, hilarious, unbelievable, hilarious, <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. I did not know that was happening. I did Just like, that whole best, thing. Dude. I had no idea that was happening. Us chugging a couple beers together. What? Right, hey, kid, I'm gonna go this way. You go that way. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome, and uh, had beer in my eyes and my ears. You know how I have like a hole in my yeah. boom. <laughs> oh yeah, man he killed me dude. what are you talking about he hit my yeah. face off that man's shoulder <laughs> yeah. um, but like it was so stupid it was it was so so dumb and I am uh, I'm so thankful and that second match didn't happen no, 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 no. no. The commission was, never what was his problem yeah I don't know Literally, I mean, I did say... I think he just wanted to show off. Well, I told him, too. Yeah, I think so, too. By the way, I had a black tank top on. I don't know if it was uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. kind of oh, yeah. interesting there. I mean, he, looked, he, looked, he has no business looking like that as a 76-year-old. Yeah. I was so... I, I kind of told him that, too. Like, well, there's still 86-year-old <laughs> bones underneath all that shit. <laughs> so elated and excited for you to get the win over Austin, and then all that bullshit happens, and I see Vince start taking his shirt off. I'm like, oh, no, this is not good. You that man is still jacked. You should have heard the stadium whenever he was thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Whenever he had that jacket on and he t- started attempting taking it off, man, there was like a mm-hmm. like a yeah. buzz raising in there. And I was like, is this m- is this m-? so I people need to know like the wrestling business. People understand what the wrestling business is. But there's things that happen out there on a very regular occasion that are not like, mm-hmm. you know, Hey, this is not how this is supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And you just are like, there's people around that are like, uh, hey, yeah, this is happening now, basically. <laughs> and I, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, what the? All right. I sat up on the ropes, you know, mm-hmm. I sat there for a second <clears throat> and I looked around and I saw a 76 year old Vince McMahon taking his shirt off. I'm like, is this a movie right now? Like, this has to be a simulation. And then, obviously, Austin Theory attacks me. Yeah, right. Bullshit. Yeah. Vince abuses his power. Mm-hmm. And that ref, what the fuck was he yeah, doing? Yeah, that was horseshit. Yeah. Take control. What was that ref even doing? I have Nothing. no idea what he was doing. But, yeah, it was all very, very dumb. How do you feel today? Uh, this, one's, this one's a little sore. Where did that come from when you... Where'd like, you hit him? Right in the face? No, no. Shoulder tat. He was uh, standing outside the ropes like an yeah. idiot. Yeah. Such a clown. Yeah. And I, I'm sure there was a much more athletic way to go about doing whatever happened there. But I just sprinted full speed and shouldered him. And uh, there, that rope was right. It slingshotted me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not prepare for the aftermath. <laughs> Boom. And then wham, I was down. There was another moment where I was... I went much further than I thought I was going to be going. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. I'm almost out of the ring right now. They, they, they gave us a couple times in there where I thought I was in bad shape. But I feel good, AJ. I feel re- really, and I don't want to undersell this, really hungover right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? From from what you had inside the ring that we saw on camera, and of then course. what was there a thing afterwards? Well, you know, there might have been. There might have been, yeah, a lot afterwards. <laughs> Some inside there, obviously. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, that beer did taste delicious. Although I was, you know, down and hot. Yeah. That beer, and <laughs> I'm happy we got. I'm happy they caught that. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Because I was literally just trying to take that entire thing down. In my head, I'm like, can I put this whole thing down right now? And it started like obviously coming out of my mouth, foaming, I mean, because that's a tough way to drink there. <laughs> yeah. That fucker disappeared though. I, oh yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, I got rid of that thing. It was. That was awesome. Thank did you. anyone uh, predict that Stone Cold was coming out night two as well? So I. Listen, I was sitting there just befuddled by everything that was going on in my life right there, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not good enough in that business for everything that happened. There was a lot of trust that was placed upon me, I think. Oh, yeah. Hindsight that should not have been, I don't think that should not have been because I'm in there and I'm like, 
God damn, like, I should have been given a heads up. Like, how many times have I done three times? I've done this three times? <laughs> like, should I have not have been given, I, like, hindsight, looking back on it? I was like, man, what the? They were really, really confident in me figuring some stuff out, I guess. But it was, uh, it was cool, AJ. I mean. It was awesome. Hey, it was awesome. Like, I, I watched, I didn't know when you were going on, so we started watching. It was actually, I appreciate them throwing Otis in there. That helped my kids through a little bit. They were waiting to see you. So Otis pops out. They were juiced, man. They were so pumped to watch him. But uh, yeah, watching, <laughs> awesome. watching you yeah, live. Awesome. Yeah, like Herbie texted me during it. I'm sure he's texted you a few times. Like Herbie was texting me and blown away by your performance. And yeah, it was awesome. I didn't know what to expect. I never do going into these things, watching them. I had no idea what you were doing. I know I joked about Vince coming and blasting you in the back of the head, which, hey, look what happened. I knew when I saw Vince, when Vince comes walking down the old ramp he comes strutting down there i was like here we go (laughs) and then we all know vince sit down by the commentator's table you think vince is going to sit there and let his dude get beat up by you we knew vince was coming in all right you did okay and when i saw that he was getting introduced you know before all of us and he was going out to the ring you know there was quite a AJ Hawk's been saying this (laughs) AJ Hawk's been saying this how about I loved Vince Oh, yeah, dude. Everything about him in, inside the ring, the, the whole stunner yeah. with Stone Cold, how they, they figured that one out. Like, it was all awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was going to eat. What are you talking about, about, dude? Well, I mean, what? things you got you to gotta react on the fly. Sometimes <laughs> things don't go exactly as planned. Bro, he got kicked so hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody's... That's everybody... what I'm saying. He was able... Stone. I'm saying Stone Cold was still able to execute. Yeah. By the way... Uh... I don't know how Vince got up from that kick because, you know, everybody talks about the stunner. You should feel the kick. Oh, like, oh, the I kick before it, boom, right to the guts. I mean, there, Vince McMahon, 76 years old, just got through a match with me that was not sanctioned. So I'm still yeah. undefeated. I'm still undefeated. I'm yeah, still, that was just like a, a little, like a brawl, like a street brawl. That doesn't count. Well, mm-hmm. and I got my kids bamboozled off the thing. That's right. The exactly. whole ordeal over there. Well, buddy, also, I know I joke about it whenever I talk about it. Um, Adam Cole, will you guys get mad at me when I say he's a good dude? That I get it. I understand Austin Theory. I understand what he's doing. That dude, he is very good at what his what he is doing. How he is guy, guy. Guy. Hey, son of a bitch. How he's, Sack he's, of saying, he's a great foil. You, he's a great foil to you. Like foil. he he plays that role great. I feel like he it takes a special person to get up there and try to get everybody to hate him and everyone to boo him. Yeah, it's not easy. He's not trying, by the way. That's yeah. just who I know. Is. I'm just saying his personality is great for that for well, wrestling. We were talking a little bit earlier. He's incredibly handsome. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's very athletic. Yeah. Sure, seems to talk very well. Mm-hmm. There's people that have been lied to him that say this guy's got a great personality. He's right. working like four or five nights a week at this point. With that being said, he was too goddamn cocky. You know, he's mm-hmm. young. He had to be served a little ha ha. You know what I mean? Like, hey, wakey wakey, cuz this is the WWE. <laughs> There's commentators sitting over there that'll beat you if you want to. He was parading around with me on his show. Ah! I was out of it, okay? He could have had me there. That's his finisher he was about yeah. to drop on me. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm back to my senses. Oh, there's 80,000 people here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What's going on? And way you like, ah! You know what I mean? That's that's how I get to win. But that's those are little things he's going to, you know, pick up on his journey to hopefully becoming, you know, a better person. Like, whenever Vince introed him, though, he said, future, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. WWE Universal <laughs> Champion, Austin. Th- That's a huge deal. Okay, so when Drew McIntyre first came, um, he called him like the chosen one. Like basically when Drew McIntyre first came over, he said, this is like the chosen one. I forget the exact word that she used when he introed him. And Drew McIntyre obviously didn't know that was coming at the time. But everybody that's a WWE fan sees Vince say that and they're like... Okay, so Vince fucking likes this guy. Like, yeah. this is a guy. Now, it didn't work out for Drew that time. Then Drew had to come back or whatever. But whenever he introed Austin like that, like, I bet you Austin was standing in the back and all of Austin's friends were like, God damn. Yeah. Okay, okay oh, here we go. So I'm, I'm very happy for Austin Theory's journeys going forward. But I'm happy, you know, also to be a part of the journey of smacking him around. Hey, fucking enough with your bullshit. Man. Wait until you hear Cole and Byron call it. More specifically, Cole. Cole was... Yeah. Cole was on one. Yeah. Marking out. He, he told me beforehand that 
This is one of the first matches in a long time he was like super excited for. He was. I don't think he sat down. Yeah. He was on an emotional roller coaster the whole time. He was on the verge of tears at one point, and then I think he was orgasmic towards the end. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's that's awesome. I I don't know. Pin him, Pat. Pin him. So I was sitting outside, you know, after I got my ribs brutalized. I was coughing up. You know, I didn't, I didn't know if blood was coming from up. the football. The punt? Yeah. That was an that was an added touch. Like so that was that the football that you blasted into the atmosphere when you on your entrance? No, so there was four <laughs> the ball situation, believe it or not, was a whole thing. It was, <laughs> it was a whole deal. The ball what you, was what do you mean? The ball was a whole deal. Yeah, because there was there was Because the ball is the program. The ball is the program. True. I tried to explain that to a couple people, like, hey, <laughs> the ball the ball, the ball, the ball. Yes. <laughs> I tried to explain that, you know? Like I I tried to have that conversation. But obviously, there was a couple different balls over there, and then were the balls good enough to make it on WrestleMania? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it was awesome. That whole thing, that whole thing was amazing.